So another thing that's going to change considerably in the future is increased use of, of telemedicine for telehealth applications. And we're already starting to see this a lot in our day-to-day our -day life with our uh, fitness devices like our Fitbit or your new iPhone that can uh, monitor how much you're walking or exercising every day. And in the future, we'll be able to link that up to your personal health record or your electronic health record so the physicians or maybe even your insurance company will know how much you're exercising and maybe you'll get some uh, money off on your insurance if you're exercising appropriately. And then for patient, patients that get more in a sicker stage and need to be monitoring themselves, they'll be able to monitor their uh, blood pressure, their glucose, or maybe their weight from home with an internet-enabled uh, scale or a blood pressure monitor. And then in terms of as you get sicker and sicker when they're in the hospital, we'll be able to manage uh, patients in a clinical setting. They already do this a lot uh, for patients that are in prisons, and so they, we, the hospital doesn't want the patients to come to the prison. And of course the prisoners do want to come to the hospital, so we try to monitor them and take care of them using telemedicine. It's been particularly effective with uh, psychiatric uh, applications. And then finally we'll have these applications that are more advanced where we can actually uh, through uh, robot controlled surgery systems uh, perform surgery at a distance and they've already done uh, demonstrations of this over the internet for uh, patients that were out in the middle of the Pacific on one of those rare uh, deserted islands I guess and the military has uh, had doctors in Hawaii doing surgeries on patients on these uh, deserted islands.